Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma bada habita fillah The scholars of Islam The ulama Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has raised them with an honorable status. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has praised them and given them a great status amongst the creation. And that's because of their ilm, their knowledge and their fiqh, their understanding of the religion and their hikmah and their wisdom and their spreading forth the da'wah of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the call to kitab wa sunnah, the call to tawheed, to the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, to enlighten the creation, to give the creation the tools and the direction in order to properly worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we know the many ahadith as well that mention the status of knowledge and the ilm. The Prophet sallallahu said, Talib al-ilm faridatun ala kulli muslim. Seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every Muslim. The Prophet ﷺ said, "Man yirid Allahu bihi khairan yafqahu fid din." That whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him understanding of the religion. The Prophet ﷺ said, "Man salaka tariqan yal tilmasuhu bihi alman sahal Allahu lahu tariqan al jannah." That whenever Allah, uh, whenever uh, man salaka tariqan yal tilmasuhu bihi alman, that whoever strives on the path to seek knowledge, Allah will make easy for him the path of paradise or the path to paradise. So it lets us know that seeking knowledge and knowledge itself, Islamic knowledge, has great status with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And those who are who traverse that path, the 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 the, the, um, the students of knowledge, and at the Rasihim or Ala Rusihim is the ulama, at the head of them, is the ulama because they sought knowledge to get to their status. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised them by uh, their seeking knowledge. Seeking knowledge to come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And with that being said, I wanted to mention just a couple of things for us to learn from about the adab or the manners of dealing with the scholars. One of the important manners for dealing with the scholars is to realize and give them their manzil and their status as ulama. To know that they're ulama. Not that we blind follow them and taqlid and make ta'zim of them other than what is within the sharia. That we love them. That we want to benefit from them. And that we do not belittle them and backbite them. So that means we give them their haq. And another very important or something that I want to highlight with this and it's related to what I just said is that we do not belittle them. So that means sometimes you, you of course the ulama make mistakes and of course the students of knowledge make mistakes and if you do not get that qa'ida down this is a life principle. This is an Islamic principle. Because the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Kullu, Kullu, Kullu ibn Adam khatta wa khayran khatayna tawabun. All the children of Adam make mistakes, and the best of them is those who repent. The best of those who make mistakes. They all make mistakes. Who doesn't have sins? Who doesn't make a sin? But we have different levels of sins, of course. And some people are open with their sins. And some people have major bid'ah. And some people have a minor bid'ah. And some people fall into it knowingly. Some people fall into it unknowingly. Many different scenarios. And with that being said, when it comes to the ulama, that we have to maintain their status in Makan. And what inspired me, or caused me to make this video is on the internet I came across something 
when I was looking up something about one of our ulama, of Ahl Sunnah Ma'roof, he's an alam. He's not just even one of our ulama, like one of the minor scholars or a scholar that we love and a scholar that has ilm, but this is a scholar who's one of the major scholars, I would say, in hadith. And I won't mention his name. And I'm not going to mention the one who made a mistake, la shak, uh, about the haqq of this alam. And so, I was looking up some information, and I came across a website of one of the well-known students of knowledge. And this is a student of knowledge that has, uh, you know, or he's a da'i, and I don't know about his talib al-ilm, you know, but he's well known, he's very famous, and he's done, uh, uh, had a lot of activity with the da'wah to Ahl Sunnah, alhamdulillah. And may Allah guide us and guide him and forgive us and forgive him. And he's a known caller and a known person who speaks about respecting the ulama and translates for the ulama and does this and that and so forth for certain ulama. The problem lies in the destruction of the adab with the ulama. And this was a destruction. This is a, a, a fault on his part, a big fault, because he has this publicized, it's all over the internet. And he said, Alam Fulani, you know, mention this Alam, uh, made a mistake again. This is an Alam. No doubt we find mistakes. I've been in gatherings and I've seen ulama that I love that are major scholars, and I won't mention their names, but I've been in the sittings in their homes and heard them make mistakes in certain fatawa that I knew was wrong, and then I made sure, but they were, it was clearly it was wrong, but the, the sheikh, he made the mistake, he made the mistake, khalas, we make mistakes, no one, uh, all the children of Adam make mistakes, and the best of those are those who repent, but I did never, I never spread that, especially out in the, in the public like that, maybe with another student of knowledge, the issue may have come up, or something like this, in those closed circles, but to put out, people put out bayans and they put out clarifications supposedly and this and this and this, belittling these ulama who've spent their whole lives when you haven't done anything compared to them. Nothing. In fact, some of these people who speak and belittle ulama of Ahl Sunnah that are ma'roof have not even done Talib al that we know of. They're not even mashhur in their, in their seeking knowledge. They're not even known for seeking knowledge. Maybe they uh, came and they, they did some translation for a mashayikh. They know some Arabic or they know Arabic or whatever the case may be. And they've gotten a name for themselves. Well, alhamdulillah, we don't have any problem with that. That's beautiful because they are spreading the da'wah of Ahl Sunnah. But when they belittle the ulama and make ta'zim of only certain ulama, but Sheikh so-and-so, an alam, they say he made a mistake again. It, it shows a belittlement of that alam. Instead, it would be better. That's why we're, we are, as the Prophet wasallam said, we're responsible for our tongues. And what we say upon our tongues, that will get us in the hellfire. And get us dragged in the fire. From the tongue. Sins of the tongue. So to, for me to say, even if I disagree with a certain alam, and even if I believe it was a mistake or it was a mistake, I, just from the adab, the manners, I would say, I believe the sheikh is mistaken. Uh, or, or, or another sheikh has said he's mistaken in this, but still maintaining respect. But to say, he made a mistake again. Oh, here's another mistake by sheikh so-and-so in his tizkiyah, or in his this, or in his this. This shows a, uh, there's a problem there. The adab is not there. So I want to highlight this. For us who are beginning to seek knowledge and who are trying to just, just do something good before we die in this dunya and come closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and maintain the status of the scholars and the, and, the, and the students of knowledge even, even the tulab al-ilm, that you have to have respect, you have to know and how to treat and, and be uh, good with the people. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.